Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. Recently we completed the Discerning the Transmundane quest where we got three unique items. Two of them were the tavern's clothes which are very rare and hard to find and definitely the sexiest female clothes in the game, discounting some fairly disturbing mods that is, and possibly in my opinion one of the best two-handed weapons in the game and that's Longhammer. Now both of these are found in Liars Retreat which can be visited any time and I've done a separate video on them. One was a Daedric book called Ogma Infinium which is specific to this quest. Now this is just a short video with no spoilers. If you want to see exactly how to do this quest including Liars Cave then I've attached a link to the full walkthrough or full walkthroughs actually and I strongly recommend you do. The reward for doing this quest is pretty awesome in my opinion. They're great locations and quests. Just a quick note to do the full discerning uh, the transmundane, you'll have to go through Blackreach and I've included the link to that walkthrough as well. Okay, so first let's talk about the book itself. The Ogma Infinium is a powerful Daedric artifact belonging to the Daedric Prince Hamorus Mora or Hermaeus Mora indeed. It's an ancient tome of knowledge written by Zazis, the wizard, sage and scribe, also known as the Ageless One. The Ogma Infinium is given to Hermaeus Mora's champion upon completion of a specific task or quest. Once read, it disappears, returning to Hermaeus Mora's realm in oblivion. Now I'll show you how to read it and then keep it for your collection if you so wish to do so. Uh, the Ogma Infinium is obtained through the quest Discerning the Transmundane given by Septimus Cygnus, who is found north of the College of Winterhold at Septimus Cygnus's outpost. Um, you'll see that in the walkthrough. The quest will only be offered if you are level 15 or higher. The quest cannot be started until the rune lexicon is returned to Septimus. If you're under level 15, Septimus will then say he needs time to decipher the meaning of the lexicon. Then you will then have to wait until level 15 uh, before a courier arrives with a letter saying that Septimus had deciphered the lexicon and wants you to return to him. As this is a no spoiler video, I'll just say watch my Discern and Transmute Dane and my Elder Knowledge walkthroughs. As I mentioned before, the links are in the description. So, we've got the book. What exactly does it do? When the book is read, only one of three paths may be chosen and it offers you obviously three paths. After reading the book, the option to choose a path will not be given again. Now, the three paths are the path of magic, which is plus five to each, destruction, restoration, conjuration, illusion, alteration, and enchanting. The Path of Shadow, again, plus five to each, Light Armour, Speech, Pickpocket, Alchemy, Sneak, and Lockpicking. Now you notice, uh, once I've done this and then I close my inventory, uh, the book is removed. Okay, I'll reload to uh, a previous save. I'm going to go for the Path of Mice because I've pretty much topped out the other two uh, options. Now, to save the book and keep it as a, an artefact or a trophy, all you do is, before you close your inventory, drop it. On, on a PC, I've got it set as R, so whatever your, your uh, drop button set at. Okay. So the Path of Might is plus five, and that gives you to each and that's heavy armor one-handed smithing two-handed archery and block okay all we do now is just drop it then close the inventory and there it is it's on the ground you can pick it up Another nice little perk as well, the skill uh, levels attained from using this book uh, contribute towards level gain, uh, as if the skills have been attained by uh, any other normal means. So this will easy level uh, most people up at, at least once. Obviously, the lower you are, the more you level up. So that's pretty handy. 
Okay, that's it. A great quest, uh, a great reward for it. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.